Welcome, welcome, welcome. In today's video, we are going to be going over how to create digital stickers using AI and how you can actually add them to your own planner as well as if you want to go ahead and get them physically printed out on sites like Printify, right? And we also have something super, super special, but you want to make sure you stay to the end. But we are going to give away a free $500 for the survey that's going to be linked below. So Go ahead and check out that survey, fill it out so you could win your $500. And today we are going to be talking all things digital stickers using AI. So as you can see here, here is a weekly planner cover that I actually created, but I created this sticker using AI. And the reason why I call it a digital sticker is because my whole intention is not to actually print it out. I just want to be able to actually go in and make changes digitally while inside of Canva. Now, there's many, many ways to actually utilize a digital planner. And for the sake of this video, we are going to be talking about how you can aesthetically design your digital planners inside of Canva. But I'm also going to give you other options if you want to go ahead and print them out. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and go over to the prompts that I created. So these are some of the prompts that I already pre-populated, which I'll leave some of them linked below on what I wanted to actually create the different styles and different designs for Juneteenth, right? Because we all know Juneteenth is coming up, June 19th. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to ChatGPT. And as y'all know, ChatGPT has rolled out the 4.0, 4.0 version. And they also have the 4, right? And apparently the ChatGPT 4 version is available to for free as well, which is awesome. So obviously I've been playing around with 4.0 since this came out, but I'm going to put it back on 4, right? So just want to make sure that it's on 4. And I'm going to go ahead and place that same prompt. And let's just see if there's any differences. So I always like to go in and test the differences inside of the prompts just to see what the difference is. What I can say is, though, for a, a lot of the digital illustrations created inside of 4, the eyes always are an issue. So mm, that's the only thing about uh ai it doesn't always listen to what it is that you wanted to do and again it's cutting it off so it's really not giving me what i want so sometimes what i'll do is i'll just start regenerating another prompt and i'm gonna say do not cut off hairstyle and i'm gonna take out the word detail and i'm just gonna say create a digital illustration Right, because the detail might be uh, prompting it to be too detailed. So I'm going to take that out since I already have it super wordy. You can see that sometimes you don't always get it right the first couple of times. And I have about three prompts. And okay, so we have her right here. Um, I'm going to actually take out the purse. So I'm going to make it less wordy so we're going to take out the purse uh, all right so let's take out this and then we'll take out the end part too right and then we'll go ahead and just uh recreate this again and sometimes it helps just going in a fresh new chat so we'll go ahead and go on a fresh new chat if we don't kind of get what we want. Now, the good thing is, is that I've already generated some of these prompts because I do know that it takes time. But I did want to do one just to show here. So this one is not too bad, right? So I'm going to go ahead and download this. And then I want to go ahead and do one in watercolor, right? I also like a watercolor. So let's just see how the watercolor is going to come out. Watercolor illustration. So let's see how to watercolor. So now I'm just going into different types of designs and stickers that could be made. 
So now we're just going to keep generating and we're going to wait until it generates. Now let's see what we have. All right. So this is definitely a watercolor. Um, and we're going to do another one again. And let's change our hairstyle. Right. So and I'm going to take out the end of this prompt and we could keep this going. But now instead of I'm going to do Afro. Hairstyle wears large hoop earrings and let's change our outfit. Let's change it to yellow t shirt front and then let's change the incorporating to red. And now you just change it to what it is that you want. So we're gonna do red since the base of the shirt is gonna be yellow, do red, black, and green. Um, and let's go ahead and do fitted. Um, let's see how we look with red. Right? Let's see how we look with some red jeans. Some red fitted jeans. So this is still going to be, I think, the watercolor. So now we're just creating a couple of different designs. And I've already downloaded, I think, one. I'm going to download this one and I'll just crop it out. All right. So we're going to change this to watercolor. And we're going to go ahead and get the watercolor look. And we'll go with that. So I have one digital style. And then we're going to have two watercolor style. Let's see. Okay. I like this. So we'll go ahead and generate another one. I don't like the way the image came out on the shirt. Um, but I do like the overall image. So we're just going to regenerate. And then we're going to move these over into Canva. But before we move them over, I want to actually go ahead and upscale them inside of bigjpg.com. So when you go here, you'll go ahead and upscale your images. So you can do two at a time. So we're gonna go ahead and upscale them. You wanna actually upscale them before you bring them in. Sometimes when you upscale them, it makes it too big. So then you gotta lower the size a little bit. But the reason why you wanna upscale, sometimes you could wait until afterwards to upscale it as well. But the reason why you want to do this is because you want the uh, resolution, which is the quality of the photo to look good. So I'm just going to start this. Right. And then I always do four times with the highest. Right. And then I just press OK. Once this is done. It's going to then re-download back into my downloads folder. But for time's sake, we're going to go ahead and move over to Canva. So I'm going to open up another Canva browser. And as you can see, Canva has changed. So my display might look a little bit different than the rest of you because I have the new Canva Glow features, which I'm going to go over in another video to tell you the pros and cons of the Glow feature. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to upload. And when I go to upload, I can actually choose my own files. So I'm going to choose the downloads. And the cool thing about it is it's going to pick up the size so I'm going to, it's 1024 by 1792 pixels. So I'm going to hit use and new design, right? And it's custom size, right? So I want to keep the same shape and size of the design. So that's typically what I do. And again, like I said, you will upscale this, right? And this could be a digital sticker that you use, right? And I'm going to go ahead and go to Uploads. And when I go to Uploads, I'm going to upload the rest of those images, the watercolor and all the rest of them. So I'm just going to shift over. I'm able to upload them. Because I actually want to get all of these. And as you can see in the new Glow feature, it's goes away so now you can see your full workspace which is cool and also i'm gonna go back to uploads and 
I'm just going to go ahead and upload this stuff inside of here, right? And I'm just going to zoom in some. So as you can see, watercolor is a different kind of look. So here I want to crop it, although I love the way she's rocking her shoes. But I'm going to go ahead and crop this out because I just only want this part of the design. And I want to actually stretch it out as far as I can. All right. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit from the bottom. So I'm going to stretch it out as far as I can on the page. All right. And then I'm going to hit background remover. So as you can see, your tool bar looks a little bit different in the glow. So I removed the background and I just want to get as much as it. And I also cropped out the background. So now we have this watercolor design. I'm going to do the same thing here. I always like to zoom all the way in just to take a look at the design, see what we got going on. Her eyes is a little funky, but it's okay. I actually like the one where she's sitting down. So again, I'm going to crop that out. I always like to get rid of all the dead space before I stretch it out. Right. And then I just stretch it all the way out to fill up the entire height of here. And again, I'm going to remove the background as well. Always want to pay attention to the hands and the feet. Not too perfect, but we'll let it rock out for right now. Right. And then the same thing for here. Because we want it to be transparent when we bring it into our designs. Right. So now I have these. Let's take a look at this one and see how this one looks. I definitely don't care for this one. Lots of flaws in the hand, so we're not going to use this one. So we'll just use these two for right now. So we'll use this one, and we'll use this one. And a good thing is, too, sometimes I like to go in, and you can also add in some elements. Like maybe I want her to have some shades on. So maybe I might do like some red shades. So you could go to elements or you could design your own shades if you want to. And I'll see which ones look right. Now you want to make sure, obviously, that the shades look right with the outfit. Like these don't really go. So I wouldn't use those. I definitely want to have something that goes with it. So let's go to photos, shapes, we'll go to elements. And let's just type in shapes and see what we have. Wait, hold on, we gotta go back to all graphics. Here we go. So under graphics, we'll go in. And you could also search for like watercolor shades, but here's some black ones right here. And the black ones, they don't look too bad. So we could always put some black ones on we could go in, you know, see what other ones they got. And I always like for it to match, right? You want it to match the design. So I could take these. And obviously you want it to be placed over the nose like it would normally be. Right? So those are cool. I like those. And then I would just go ahead and hold down the shift key or you can highlight, drag it over with your mouse. And then I'm going to group this so the shades could stay on. But I like the shades on. And because it's the summertime, we're going to let the shades rock out. I am feeling that. So that's going to be one sticker. And then we have her here. We'll have her as another, right? So I love these two designs here. So now we have these two designs going on. So if you want to look at it from a grid view, you can. So I'm just going to move these up to the front because this is what I want to use. So now we have two stickers. Now, like I said, you want to go ahead and put these in an upscaler. So when these are upscaled, you'll click download and it'll download both of them, right? It'll download both of these into it. But let's just say you forgot to download 
your actual design, right? If you forgot, no worries. You could go ahead and click page one. And also note that if you use the shades, you want to be able to use, if you're going to use it commercially, you want to use free elements inside of Canva if you're going to use it commercially. Because it's a big thing right now with the whole license. And just to be on the safe side, always use the free stuff. Um, but if you're using it for personal usage, like if you're a digital planner girly like me, you can go ahead, right, and just have this personally in there. So I actually just downloaded the one with the shades, right? So I'm going to go ahead and select the image. And I'm going to upload this. And I'm going to click start. And I'm going to let this download as well. Right? So I'm going to let it download because I want to increase the resolution and just show the difference. So if you forget to redo it first, no problem. So now I'm going to go in and just for demonstrations, I'm going to show you the design that was just downloaded, right? Uh, so here's the one that was just downloaded with the resolution the first time around. And you can see that it's much clearer. First, I'm going to go ahead and just clean this up. And you can see her face is way more vibrant and clean. So... That's exactly why you always want to make sure. You always want to make sure that you use an enhancer, right? Move the background. You always want to make sure that you use an enhancer. Right? So now you can totally see the difference. I'm zooming in, right? So you see how much clearer her skin is versus here even though it's a watercolor design you could just see like it just smooths out a lot more and i'm gonna just go ahead and throw the shades on her since we already know these the same ones that we use right and we're just gonna do the same thing just drag over it and group it and now we have the nice image right it's a watercolor so watercolor is a little like a almost like a splattered look design right so we have that so now i want to go ahead and add this inside of the planner that i want to create and i also want to be able to move it over to a sticker design if i want to so i'm gonna first go ahead and go so i was working on this planner here, right? So basically, if you want to go ahead and find a, a planner template, you could go ahead and go to canva.com. And you could just search your templates, search at the top for templates, and you could just search for a planner, right? And when you search for planner, you can go through the library and find a planner that you like. If these are for pro users only, so again, you want to be well aware of the pro designs inside of here because you don't want to be using those commercially. You want to definitely be building your stuff from scratch. So you can go through and see which planner you like, or you could create your design from scratch. So I've already was working on some different planner covers, right? So here is one of the designs that I already had in. And then this is pretty much the layout of the inside, right? So this is actually from the template library. So just for purposes and demonstration video, I just wanted to show you all how you're actually able to make it look like stickers inside of here. So you can add a white background around that, which I'm going to show you how to do. And then I just took some quotes. So I chose this one is because I wanted to actually, you know, just create some different designs for different days. So I decided to go with the black background, which I'll show you all how I got there, right? And this is exactly what I did. And then I used some quotes and some stickers there, right? So Juneteenth magic, Tuesday, good things take time, right? Those are some intentions and you can go ahead and type in. So we're going to go ahead and pull some of those designs from 
our other one. So I can actually just go ahead and copy this over. But if you want to actually save it so you can have it uploaded, you would go to share, you would hit download, right, as a PNG transparent background, and you would download the specific page you would want. In this case, in this case it would be page two. You would click done. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy it over to the design workspace. And we're going to paste it inside of here, right? So we're going to paste it inside of here. We're going to delete her out. And then I just want to make a copy of this because I want to actually change the background to black because I'm going to make, obviously, the sticker design, I'm going to make a white outline for it. Oh, wait. But before I do that, let me change, change the words. I'm going to have to change it, obviously, to white. Because when I turn it black, guess what? You want to be able to see it on the paper. All right. So we have this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click edit. And I'm going to go down to shadows. And when I go down to shadows, I want to go ahead and you could do the outline. So we're going to go to the outline feature because we want to be able to outline this actual sticker. Now you can actually leave it as is, which I like both. But if you want to get like the sticker feel for it, you can actually do that as well. So right now it's black. So I want to go ahead and change it to white. And we also want to fix our sunshade as well. So you want to be able to fix her sunglasses. And white is like F, 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 F. So as you can see, here's the white outline. So we have the white outline. And we're going to go ahead and exit out. All right. All right. So now that we have the white outline, I want to go ahead and ungroup this. I need to zoom in some because our shades got knocked off. So we want to make sure we got her shades back on. And again, I'm going to drag over I don't want to get the Tuesday in, so I want to make sure to group this. And then I just want to make sure first I need to get the other place space out. So it was a little white space in it. So now we're going to go ahead and group it again. And again, you could drag over it or you could hold the shift key down. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So we're going to shift. And we're going to group this together. And now I can move this down and around. But now you get kind of that sticker feel. And I'm just going to make it smaller because I'm going to throw in some quotes, add some quotes in, right? And then I'm going to go ahead and go over again to elements. And you can type in Juneteenth if you want to. Again, for your personal style, if you want to go ahead and use Juneteenth. Um, I don't know if Juneteenth is actually trademark or not, but you definitely want to stay away from trademark names. But I do like this. So, like, if you wanted to use some stuff, like, you could put that in here. You could add the border in there, right? I'm grateful for freedom. And you could just add different quotes in. I do like this, right? I definitely would add this right here next to it. So you could definitely put some stuff inside of here. Right? However you feel in. For this Tuesday, 
you could definitely do that. And then you could also ask some, I always like to put girl quotes, women quotes, whatever it is that you want to do. And the best thing is, is that these come already with the white border. So all you have to do is change the color. So anytime you use a element, obviously, again, this is the pro version. So you want to definitely be careful if you plan on using things for commercial usage, but for personal I'm just going ahead and changing the colors, right? Uh, let me go back to this color and change it to the yellow. And then the green. Well, no, no, no. We're going to keep the green white. We're going to change the pink. We might change the pink to green. And then boom. Now we have some intentions, right? And you could go ahead and add this stuff, but I really like this design. Um, I would go in and add the other sticker from here. This one here, right? I would copy this into it for Monday. And again, I don't, again, you would definitely want to fix the design, but I love this. I would add this in for Monday. And again, I would go into my elements and um, I'm going to try to, let me see if I'm going to find something. Um, all right, let's do, let's do enjoy the process. That's important, right? We have to enjoy the process, just like we're enjoying the process of this video. Because listen, if it wasn't for me being able to learn through surveys and different things like that, that I'm talking about um, inside this video and what I mentioned to you all, like I wouldn't be where I am today. So it's super important to enjoy the process, right? So that's why we're doing a survey and we're giving people a chance to win $500 because we all could use some extra moolah and we all could use the help, right? So, and I would add this here, right? Because I'm grateful for it and I could change the colors, which I love, right? And it takes up some of the bullets. So I'm just going to change this to green, right? Because uh, maybe I might do red. Let's see. Yeah, so I love this because now I'm able to use, so this is how I'm able to use these as like digital stickers. See, this has the white outline, this doesn't. So again, you would just do the same process and I'm really feeling this and I love this actual page and just to zoom in, like this is such a nice design for me. And now I'm like, okay, I'm loving the way these digital stickers like Monday because the whole month of June or maybe the week of June uh, for when it starts for Juneteenth, you want to actually create your planner layout to look like this, right? Because you want to celebrate the history of freedom and all different types of things, right? So definitely love that. And you would just be able to go ahead and go through and create different, different digital uh, stickers inside of your actual um, digital planner, for weekly and you could continue to build it out and you could just add different pages and the cool thing about this is that it's undated so you could add on for each week each season each holiday but again i really love how this came out so far and it looks really good so i want to show you all one last thing um if you wanted to actually bring this sticker um, and so Printify and you actually wanted to get it printed, you can do a kiss cut sticker. You could do all different types of things. So if we go here, we're going to just search for stickers and you're able to do sticker sheets and all of the above, which is so cool because you can actually do sticker sheets. So you could do a square sticker, a kiss cut. Obviously the kiss cut will actually already put the white behind your sticker so we can actually do that and then you also have sticker bundles which 
I'll do another video going over how you can actually create a bunch of stickers and use a sticker sheet. And you can sell sticker sheets. And we'll use some designs. So as you can see, this is a bestseller because people really love um, kiss cut stickers. And this is like if you wanted to do like a single sticker, you wanted to order a single sticker, you would be able to bring your design in. Keep in mind that the print area is 559 by 559. You want to make sure um, that your resolution, right, is at least, uh, what is that, 30,000 by 30,000. Because you want your sticker to be able to come out right. So we're going to actually upload a sticker. And they have DPI converters. So you would just go to Google. I could leave a DPI converter that I use below. But you can go to Google and actually um, put in an actual, uh, you can resize it. So here I have it. It's a two by two. If you go to select variants, you'll see it'll be a two by two. You can make it bigger if you want to. So like, let's say you wanted to do a six by six. You could stretch this out here if you wanted to. In the surface, you have transparent and you have white, right? So the great thing is you could go to preview and you can actually preview your design. So as you can see, it's the kiss cut with the clear around it and you can place this in different places. And it's a six by six and I'm really liking it. Um, Not so much on this Christmas box, but if you wanted to actually print out a planner or something like that, you can actually do that. And now you can see, right, that this is a kiss cut design and you can actually go ahead and order that. So I'm gonna go back to edit. And if you wanted to do that, I think it's pretty inexpensive. It's about uh, 139 and then you have to pay for some shipping. So if you wanted to just test it out just to see how it looks, you can, but you could place these in like your laptop, right? It's perfect for stuff like that. I love putting stickers on the laptop so you could just order one, right? And have it placed there. But I did wanna also show you that. So you could definitely go to Printify. And again, I will do another video showing you how to do um, like more full sticker sheets. So we would just need more designs and we'll be able to place them on sticker sheets. And now we can have a full sticker set and we can actually use those as well. But you definitely want to test the quality of the print. Um, so that's why I would order only like maybe one first for the inexpensive amount just to see how it comes up because you even when you size it you want to make sure that the vendor that you're going to use is actually going to make your sticker design the way you want it so i always recommend people to do at least one test before they actually do um a set of because i think this one comes in like a set of five right so i always test my designs i use printify a lot for journals notebooks stickers all of the above but i still always test because you just never know right so again today we went over how to create digital stickers and use them inside of canva there's a lot of digital um apps out there good news um i think apple Apple or Notability maybe is one of them for Android. I don't know because I'm an Apple user, but I know GoodNotes is one. And I'll also do a video for that as well, how to do like the pre crop stickers, bring it inside of the app. But you can use a digital planner right inside of Canva. You would just go in every day and you will, you know, look through it and you could actually turn this into a flip book as well. And I will do another video um, once I do the full design as well, like creating a plan and then how you could just flip through it, you know, for the month, if you're already going to design it right digitally, but I like to just do it, you know, as we go, but everybody has their own preferences, but you know, this is pretty much what I would do and how I would do it. So again, this is it. So for Tuesday, never stop trying and be grateful for freedom. So thank you all for tuning in. Again, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe to the video. And remember, like, we all need to, what? Enjoy the process, right? So make sure that you're filling out surveys so you can learn the best way to go ahead and enjoy the process. Thank you all. Comment, share, subscribe, and like. Share this out to as many people as you can. And let me know what you want to see next as well. Have a great, great, great day. And thank you for watching.